I'm back again with another video. Let's talk about something that's going to be um, slightly controversial, uh, even even to me. So one thing that I do almost every weekend is that I always take breaks. And there's been some weekends where I felt so compelled to like, oh, I've got to code or I've got to get this idea down at the very least and, and figure out, you know, what what questions I might have later down the line. But for the most part, I try to jam pack as much as I can um, between Monday and Friday. And then on the weekends, I really just try to to reach a point of complete boredom. And one of the reasons for that, there's a great quote by um, Christo. I actually don't know if it's a quote that he got from someone else or if he came up with it. But one of the things that he says that always stuck with me is that uh, boredom is the precursor to creativity, right? So, and this ties back into like hustle culture and we're going on social media and we're seeing all these other people constantly um, talk about doing things. They're always busy. They're always on to something. They're always into something. But what you have to remember is that um, everyone needs a break one way or another. And if you never have time or if you can't, you know, if you can never afford like financially or time wise or because of your work schedule, if you can't afford to make sure that you actually get bored, um, you're going to become less creative over time. Because what's going to happen is you're always going to be so focused on the work that ideas and, and things that would have come to you naturally are now being blocked. Um, and when you're bored, you know, that's when you get the most creative because it's kind of like the, the one and only like judgment free zone. Like when your imagination is allowed to run free, there's no one that's around that can bother you inside of your mind. that can judge you for whatever ideas you have. You'll be surprised with, uh, what you come up with. So, um, for instance, you know, I never I, I, I was always what I would say more of a, a, a intrapreneur. So I would go somewhere. I would work at these places, even back when I worked in um, restaurants. I would always try to make things better from within. But at the same time, I wouldn't be comfortable doing doing some of the work and doing some of the things that I did for other people for myself. So I didn't consider myself an entrepreneur for a long time. And um one thing that, that always saved me was that I worked on a college campus. So by default, we always had every weekend off. And I was able to handle a lot of stress and deal with um, a lot of things that I probably wouldn't have made it through otherwise solely because, like, I just I always had those two days where I could just not have anything scheduled. I could have no expectations. I could just let those two days just pass by, you know, every week. And that's not to say that I live for the weekend. That's just to say that if I'm overwhelmed by the time we hit like Friday night, I know that when I wake up on Saturday morning, I can just be free to think about whatever I want to think about. If all I'm thinking about is work that whole weekend, that's okay. But what's important is that like I don't schedule any time. I don't set any expectations. I don't even try to meet any expectations. I actively try to just be bored and just see where my brain is going to take me. Um, and that works out perfectly because, like, for example, I don't play too many video games during the week, Monday through Friday. But I really get into it over the weekend because I'm like, man, I have a whole – 12 hours, a whole 16 hours. I could sleep. I could, uh, you know, go for a walk or I could sit down and, and play video games. And instead of just playing a video game as like a form of escapism, I can really play the video game for fun, knowing that I have enough time to not worry about anything else. And recently that's been like one of the, the it's been like the reemergence of, of, my hobby in gaming because that had kind of died out for a while. Um, but I, I thought that, you know, at a certain point, if I didn't play a video game for like 
an hour a day or at least two hours a day, like I would literally go insane. But that that's not the case. I actually enjoy it more knowing that, you know, at least on Saturday alone, I'll have a good, you know, four hours. And then if I decide I want to spend another two hours gaming, I can keep going. Or I can pull back and go and watch TV or read something that I haven't had time to read. But my point is, you know, your your two days a week relaxing may come on a Tuesday and a Thursday because you work on the weekends. Or, you know, it may it may come on Wednesday and Thursday. You may just have like a weird work to work work schedule. But the important thing is really like you have to give yourself time to be bored if you ever expect to be able to consistently be creative and be able to consistently be like the best version of yourself. Like you can't always just work, work, work. And the people that do work all of the time, you'll find that like in general, it gets to be very inefficient after a certain amount of time. Like there's more to doing work than just putting the time in. That's the very basic, you know what I mean? That's what people mean when they say trust the process. At first, everything takes a very long amount of time. So you have to spend a lot of time doing what you're doing. That makes sense. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about when you get to a level where you see that you're wasting time at work. You see that you could take two hours out of your day and go for a walk or play a video game or watch something on Netflix instead of working for 10 hours straight. You know what I mean? I'm talking about basically like the the borderline between like habits and routines and and, and discipline. There's a there's a balance to be found there. So let me know what you think. Let me know um, how do you take time off? Do you take time off every week? Do you push it back and only take time off when you're like officially on vacation? I would love to know. In the meantime, take care.